Hello, popcorn junkies. How are you? Sorry, I feel ghastly. Um, this is a trailer reaction to a much heralded action spy thriller film. Are you a fan of the spies? Are you a fan of spies? Do you like spies? The word spies is suddenly sounding really odd. Do you despise spies? Uh, this is a new film called Argyle. Um, it's directed by Matthew Vaughan. If you don't know who Matthew Vaughan is, get a life! Matthew Vaughan produced Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, Lair Cake, you name it. He's a, he's a big producer, but he's also a big director too. He's been involved with all the Kingsman films. Kingsman? Kingsman. All the Kingsman films. He's got a British sensibility. He's got that kind of mockney kind of fun attitude to things. He likes to have fun. Uh, he was also the producer of Eddie the Eagle, uh, Rocket Man. He's mockney. He's not really cotton, he's mockney. Doesn't matter. Matthew Vaughan, he's a lad. He's a, he's a cad. Apparently he flies onto set in a helicopter sometimes. Anyway, so this is a new movie called Argyle. Now, I have a major concern right at the front here about Argyle. And my major concern is a concern that we've often had on many other projects uh, where we've kind of reacted to films where the, the, the number of stars in the film is so huge. Well, it makes the sky look sparse, put it that way. Um, we've got Henry Carvel in there. Jury's out on Henry Carvel. Is he any good? I don't know. He always seems to be quite sort of solid and quite square. We've got Sam Rockwell, who I like. He's a sort of wibbly wobbly guy. He's always very funny. He's brilliant at Seven Psychopaths. I loved him in that. Uh, he was great in Three Billboards. He won, a, he won an Oscar for that. as the, the drunk alcoholic copper. Um, this has also got Brian Cranston in there. He's, he's, you know, he's good too, you know, Breaking Bad and all that. He hasn't quite sort of excelled in anything else. Since that, we've also got Bryce Dallas Howard, who I've got a lot of time for. She, she of uh, Jurassic World and, you know, the old Jurassic reboot. She's, uh, she must hate being described in this way. She's Ron Howard's daughter. Um, she's also a very, very, very good director. She directs a lot of the Disney Plus uh, Star Wars films, so she's in there. We've got Samuel L. Jackson in there. We've got Dua Lipa in there. We've got Ariana DeBose in there. We've got Catherine O'Hara in there. Um, it's just John Cena. It's a massive, massive cast. And it's about spies, which is kind of like Kingsman, which is quite Matthew Vaughan. I think Matthew Vaughan's probably going to end up directing a Bond film? Does anyone else think that? I think that. I've got that funny feeling. He, he's got a good sense of humour. He likes to sort of take things to the very edge. I think he likes to throw things off things. He likes to slice things into things. He's kind of, yeah, he's a lot of lad. He's, he's a lad. And of course, his wife is Claudia Schiffer. And this film stars a cat. Uh, and the cat uh, is called Alfie. And Alfie the cat in this film is played by Chip. And Chip is the real life cat of Claudia Schiffer. So without further ado, should we jump in? I think the idea behind this is that Bryce Dallas Howard is a, I think she's a spy novelist or a crime novelist or something like that. And then um, Sam Rockwell comes in and basically convinces her that he's going to rescue her from some kind of strange espionage type thing. I can't stand espionage. I find it really boring. So it has to do something really different and clever. It either has to go dark, it either has to become thought provoking. It can't just be action for action. It can be funny. I, I, I like funny. But uh, just spy, spy, spy for spy's sake. No. That said, Matthew Vaughan does make me laugh. You know, Kick-Ass was funny, and there are moments in the Kingsman films which are, which are just excellent. So without further ado, let's watch this bloody thing, shall we? I certainly hope you dance as well as you dress. There's only one way to find out. You and I, we're not so different. Agent Argyle. Little help? Hold on. This must be in her book. Yeah. Yes. The book is phenomenal, sweetie, but... What happens next? It's called a cliffhanger, mother. Ellie, it's called a cop-out. Oh, hey! There's a cat in there! Oh my god, you're Ellie freaking Conway. Author of the Argo series, Ellie Conway! I am such a fan! Oh yeah? What is it you do? Espionage. Would you sign my book? Here we go. I love this book! Hmm? People. Real life spies. Why would they care about me? Because you're a goddamn fortune teller, Ellie. Really. 
When you wrote your new book actually happened and you kicked the hornet's nest you didn't even know existed. I'm in some really big trouble, Mom. Oh, so now you're experimenting with drugs. I want all assets on them now. I need her to write the next chapter. God, I hate that cat. It's time for you to meet the real Agent Argyle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, I quite liked that. I liked it when we were in the lunacy of the duo Lipper John Cena kind of fiction. So I'm gonna enjoy those bits. It's from the outside, I like that. So book within a book, is she gonna finish her book? Sam Rockwell, I mean, obviously he was meant to be badly in disguise and so that worked, but he's very funny. He's got comic bones. I love his delivery and I love it when he's allowed to just be silly. Uh, a better fight scene in that trailer than I felt there was on Bullet Train. Um, uh, yeah, looked good. Bryce Dallas Howard looked like it was all happening around her. So I'm not entirely sure how much she brings to the table. I quite like the narrative device of, is Brian Cranston, if he's the kind of linchpin mafioso chapel guy who's kind of orchestrating all the evil, is he wanting to just get a really good chapter? Is this like an embellished, espionage, exaggerated version of misery? You know, an uber fan who wants the writer to really deliver on the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter. And if this all pivots around them all being ludicrously enthusiastic and excited about um, her writing, I think that's quite a nice twist. Because then you're going to be able to play with expectation. Because as soon as you're rewriting and retelling story plot bits in films or books and stories, and they're going to go to them in the film, you can cut anything in. Anyone can die, anything can happen, and so there'll be lots of gags. I mean, Matthew Vaughan likes that. You can tell by the sort of primary colours. I was getting from the design almost of that sort of checkered design. It was a bit Knives Out-esque in the way that it's shot and the way that it looks. So he has a very, very noticeable style, doesn't he? It's very rich, very sort of comic, but very slick. Um, and that cat, the cat looked great. I mean, you know, hurling a cat off a, off a building. I mean, you know, not great. But, uh, but yeah, and Samuel L. Jackson in there too. He, he was looking good. So that was better, better than I thought it was going to be.